During that four years of my time being at Ruka, um, probably from 20, 2020 to 2021, I had got locked up with um, handgun on person. Like four months later that I came home, I was shot 13 times. When I first got into Ruka, I was basically just coming home off of a violation charge, a violation of probation. And about a week after I came home, Ruka started knocking on the door. I actually got incarcerated for handgun on person and I want to say less than six hours I was home, Rooker was there for me. They knocked on the door, come to check and make sure I was okay, see how court dates was doing, when was my court date, how could they arrange different things for me. That's a guy on um, Rooker named Tashawn Bay. It was how he came to my house and his body language and effort, everything he had, what he said when he came to the house from when I first met him, it was that. It was a father figure talking to a son. That's that's the kind of vibe he gave when he came with his body language. Walking straight out the front door and just to somebody that I don't know, it was hard. It was hard to just say I'm going to give y'all my all and I don't know y'all from Adam to Eve. So once I got a little bit to know y'all and know what the worth was behind Roka, I started to stick around. I started to play my part in Roka and I became the man I am today. My father or his father never worked a day in their life, so it's like, God, stop that that bad trait somewhere. So I like this good trait that I'm starting. So now my kids can see like, oh, yeah, oh my grandfather did this, my my great grandfather did that. But what my father doing? Oh, my father working. So it's gonna put their mindset on. Oh yeah, I need to work too. When I wake up to go outside, it's for me to go to work. You know, like actually be productive instead of doing the illegal things, like knowing that the job pays off just as much as all the other things I've did in the past. What helped me was CBT. CBT played a big part in my life. Knowing that uh, I can do this and the consequence behind this might lead to back in jail again. It was a time when I was arguing and I knew that my life was changing. I argued about being at work. I, I actually broke a window. I was crying, I cried. I yelled, I screamed, I did the most to see if I can be, still be a part of something that I knew was positive. So right then and there, I knew my life was changing. I would have to say graduation meant a lot to me because just seeing where Roka came from and actually like myself and Roka growing and to become better things in life. So just seeing that come from like a small space, zero basically to like grow into like a beautiful company, so, and a beautiful program. I wanna see Roka push. I wanna see Roka keep knocking. I wanna see Roka at people's front doors more than what they used to be. I want Roka to help the young men that I see on the corner daily. It's not really nothing that I can sit here and say that I want more for Roka because they have fulfilled a lot of dreams and overcame a lot of steps for people that never thought they'd be anything in life. I want Rooker to be here for the rest of my life.